Hey guys, I want to bring you a little tip or trick here for getting Mongo Hub, a GUI interface for working with MongoDB, working with, over SSH to a remote server that you have running Mongo. Now, this isn't going to make any sense to you if you don't use MongoDB, and that's probably the first time you've ever heard me say MongoDB. Well, I think we're going to be starting to see more of that, and I'll explain an installation of that. I think MongoDB has some severe advantages over MySQL that we'll be starting to look at. But for now, I'm going to show you a couple things, starting off with uh, how to do passwordless SSH, and then how to port forward on your computer, and how to get Mongo Hub initially running with a remote Mongo database. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about your brand new Rackspace server that you just got, or your brand new cloud server, whatever. Go into terminal, let's, uh, let's exit our last thing here. And I've ruined the world. Okay, <laughs> so we are currently here at terminal, and we want to we want to SSH into our brand new server. So we're going to go SSH root, which is our user, at changeup.connectai.com, which is our new server. We're going to hit enter, and it's going to ask us for a password. And we're going to be like, okay, I got a password from my cloud server. So I will paste in my password, and here I am logged in. That's great. It was wonderful, but it took too long. So let's talk about how to do this without a password. We're going to exit and clear to clear the, the prompt here. So, how do we do this? I already have ChangeUp set up. I already have my remote server already set up in Transmit, which is my FTP application. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our root, which is slash, and then the folder called root, which is our user, and then the .ssh folder. And if this isn't here, you can make it. And then inside of here, you'll have you might have some things, you might not have some things. But the one thing you do need is a new file called authorized keys. Okay? And in this authorized keys, we're going to open with Text Wrangler. And here's this. And what we're going to do is open our local pub key. So if we go to our local computer, so if we go to Sean and we go to the .ssh folder, and you may not have a .ssh folder, you may not be able to see it. And if you can't see it, you can do go, go to folder squiggly slash dot ssh and that will take you there okay now you're looking for id underscore isa.pub if you do not have that file you need to go to google and google uh, ssh key pair mac find this command which is ssh dash key gen dash t dsa you're going to paste it in the terminal hit enter 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 and you will now have this file that creates a public key so here's your public key which we will open with text wrangler we will copy our public key, we will go to that authorized key file and paste our public key and save our public key, and now our public key is in our authorized keys file. You can put as many keys from different people as you want in here if you have multiple people that you want to have passwordless SSH. And that's actually the la that's, a that's it. You don't have to do anything else, and now you can SSH without a password. So if I open terminal and I go SSH, change up dot connect AI, I'm sorry, SSH root at changeup.connectai.com and hit enter. It will now not ask me for a password and just log me in. Isn't that nice? We're going to exit and we're going to clear. Now, let's talk about MongoDB. Let's say you've got Mongo up and running on that server already. I'm not going to go over the installation of Mongo now, like I said before. But you have Mongo running and you want to work with it with Mongo Hub, which is this really cool uh, GUI application for working with Mongo. You know how I am with my GUI interfaces. So we will add a new site and we will call it ChangeUp. And localhost is fine, this port's fine, everything's fine. SSH, yes, we want to use SSH. We will SSH to changeup.connectai.com. Our username is root and our password is uh, that password that I got from our Rackspace account. And we will save and we will double click it and it crashed so that's the point of this tutorial is to show you that it crashes mongo hub is great except it crashes when you try to use over ssh but that's not very useful you need to be able to use this over ssh so how do you do it we'll go ahead and reopen it and delete that site because it doesn't work we will create our own ssh tunnel on our computers by ourselves and this tip is brought to you by my programmer dave he actually taught me this and I think it's a really cool trick. Okay, so we're actually going to create our own SSH tunnel and port forward the port that Mongo needs 
over to the remote server. So let's do that. So to do that, you go back to the .ssh folder that we were at earlier. We will create a config file with no extension. In that config file, we will have four pieces of information. Host name. Host name being whatever the hell you want. Okay, in my case, I'm calling it changeup. The host name, okay, which is the remote server or IP address that you were connecting to. Then you have the user root. Remember we had before root at changeup.connectai.com. And then this is the magic line. We will local forward our lo local loopback address on this port to our remote local address to this port. I know it's the same thing twice, but that's what it means. It's saying our local computer at this port to the remote computer at this port. This creates an SSH tunnel and it forwards that port. Okay? Now, we're going to go back to terminal. Remember before we did SSH root at changeup.connectai.com and that does a great job at doing SSH, but it doesn't do the port forward. So we need to SSH using the host that we just created. To do that, we're going to type SSH and then change up. And the reason we're doing that is because that matches our host right here, the, the name. So SSH change up and hit enter. And now we have SSH in using an even shorter syntax without a password, except this time we're forwarding a port. What does that mean? That means I can go to Mongo Hub, create a site, call it remote change up don't need all this local stuff is perfectly fine we're not going to do SSH we're going to hit save we're going to double click it and ta-da we are now in our remote Mongo database and you can see we can go to change up and we can go to user and query and run and you can see here's our all of our collections inside of MongoDB on the remote server so that is how you can use Mongo Hub to SSH to well, Mongo Hub to use your Mongo database on a remote server in the next tutorial coming up pretty soon, we'll be showing you how to install MongoDB and my little explanation of why I think MongoDB is a good tool to use.